All right, hey everybody. So I uh, went out to lunch and I decided to do a trick at my table. So I apologize, the cup is right here. So we're gonna try to our best to ignore that. So I have no idea how this trick works. All I know is that it's going to work every time if you do it correctly. And uh, just for I like remembering purposes, we're just gonna use the two black aces. So the ace of clubs, ace of spades, and we're gonna grab one red ace as well. Let's look for the ace of hearts, wherever it may be. I think it's up here. Uh, ace of diamonds, we'll use the ace of diamonds. Okay. Just because those three cards are very simple to remember. So ace of clubs, ace of spades, ace of diamonds. Now I got this trick off of Miss Mag's channel. His link is uh, down below if you want to see his performance. I have no idea how this guy does it, um, and neither does Miss Mag. So, I'm going to show you how the trick is done, and in that way, you're also going to learn how the trick um, works, because it works itself, which is awesome. So, uh, all you need first is a pile of 10 cards, so we're going to do that. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Move that over a little bit just so you guys can see. Right there. Okay, so the next you need a pile of 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Move this over just a little bit more. Oh, goodness. It's so hard when there's a cup lit in the way. Uh, we'll do this one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have two piles of 15 and one pile of 10. Uh, you should have nine cards remaining, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to take our first ace, uh, ace of clubs, place it right on top of the pile of ten, cut off some cards from the fifteen, it really doesn't matter how many. Uh, we're going to take the ace of spades, put on the deck we just cut from, cut from the other fifteen pile, and place on top of that one. Then we're going to take the Ace of Diamonds, place it on the last pile, and we're going to cover that with our remaining nine cards. So once that's done, you just lift them up, and you go one, two, and three, and we're good to go for phase two. Phase two is a lot of fun. Phase two, you don't mix up the cards, you leave them as they are, and the next step is to go distribute the cards into an up, down, up, down position. So we're going to do that twice. So let's do that. Ready? Up, down, up down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and so forth. And you do actually want to go through the whole deck, and you want to look over here for the cards that you distributed, and I believe, yeah, I did it this way. Oh, thank God. Alright, I was really worried. I was going to mess up there. Okay. Okay, so didn't see your card. That's okay. We'll just take these and we'll get rid of them. We'll go uh, up, down again. So up, down, and so forth. Still didn't see your card. That's that's okay. That's okay. Um, let's try mixing it up. Let's go uh, down, up, down, up. So, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, keep going. Nothing? Uh, okay, fine. One more time. Uh, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Well, now, there's only three cards left. And these remaining cards are the ones we worked with. So I seriously have no idea how this trick works. In the video that I watched with uh, Miss Mag, he had no idea either. And uh, once again, the link is down below. And I really hope you guys enjoy that trick. Use it to your advantage. It's a fun mathematical trick. And thanks for watching.